Question 2. Sine of 18. Okay, sine of 18. Now you remember from our previous question that we already have a triangle. And sine of 18 can simply be written as sine of 18 can be written as opposite over hypotenuse and we calculated our opposite to be square root of 1 minus z squared over our hypotenuse and I'm working from this triangle over our hypotenuse of 1 and that will give me just an answer of 1 minus z squared. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to notice, okay, sine of 18 means that sine squared of 18 plus cos squared of 18 is equal to 1. This is the one of the fundamental identities, okay, which means that if I want to solve sine of 18, I need to say sine squared of 18 is now equal to 1 minus cos squared of 18. Okay, in other words, I've gotten rid of the cos squared by subtracting them on both sides. And now finally, I can just take a square root on both sides. Again, same thing applies. Oops, sorry, here's a one. Same thing applies. I don't need to take a plus minus in front because we know that sine of 18 is in the first quadrant where sine would be positive. Sine of 18 will be a positive number. So sine of 18 is equal to the square root of 1 minus cos squared 18. And that we know we know what cos squared of 18 is. It is 1 minus z squared. So let's enter it. Here we can see they ask us to, to write the first answer in terms of cos. In other words, they want this part. Sine 18 in terms of cos. Okay. So let's type it in. For a square root, we type SQRT. And now everything that comes under the square root must fall in these brackets. What comes under the square root? It's a 1 minus and now cos squared of 18. You might be tempted to type it as cos to the power of 18. But in fact, the computer or the program doesn't recognize that as cos squared. We need to first do cos of 18, and cos of 18 must be squared. So the whole cos of 18 will be squared. So computers don't recognize this type of squaring a trigonometric function. Okay, so let's just preview to make sure that we have it correct. There we go, 1 minus cos of 18 is squared, and that's the same as this effect. Okay, and finally, our answer now is just written as that. Again, SQRT is for the square root. Everything inside or under the square root must be typed inside those brackets. 1 minus Z squared. Let's preview. Syntax, okay, great. There we go, 1 minus Z squared. That's what we wanted.